My name's Simon, I'm 32 years old, and in February of 2020, I had aortic valve replacement surgery at the Royal Brompton Hospital. The surgery was to cure a condition of aortic regurgitation, something that was diagnosed when I was 14 and had no real symptoms, side effects or complications from the diagnosis. I was able to play sport, I went to the gym, I'd done everything that I wanted to do. About 18 months prior to the surgery, I started to become more and more symptomatic. At first, I didn't realise there were symptoms of my condition. I just kind of put it down to perhaps I wasn't working out as much as I used to, so whenever I did go to work out, it was a lot harder than it used to be. But this progressively got worse, and I started to think that maybe it was symptoms due to the aortic valve regurgitating. So my concerns were confirmed by the cardiologist who said that, you know, I was in that window now for surgery. Leading up to the operation, I started to become more and more symptomatic. I was having a lot of shortness of breath, I wasn't able to play sport, wasn't able to go to the gym, and even walking and talking became a chore. I was admitted to the Royal Brompton Hospital in London to have the aortic valve replaced. It was a seamless experience from day one until day eight when I was discharged. The doctors and nurses and everyone who looked after me were fundamental in my recovery. You know, when you're in the bed in the ICU and you're a few hours out from surgery and you're just coming round, they're encouraging you to get up and out of bed and get into a chair and that was the worst thing I could think of doing at that moment. They were there, they were encouraging, they got me out of bed, they got me moving. Up to the present day I'm about seven months post-op and I've had a fantastic recovery. From six weeks post-op I was able to start exercising a bit more. I started to run. I've started to use cardiovascular um, exercise machines. I've also started to lift weights again. I'm keeping it really light. I'm just really trying to get that range of motion built up. I'm not putting any undue stress onto my heart and I'm being monitored very closely by the doctors. All of the nurses, doctors and specialists at the Royal Brompton and Harefield hospitals have been on hand for me to be able to give them a call, send an email, bounce some ideas off about different types of activity, different exercises and what I can do to kind of step up to the next level while I'm trying to get back up to speed, get back up to my full capacity. They've been there to guide me and help me in my recovery. The charity is currently fundraising to buy new equipment for each of the hospitals. It's absolutely vital that they get this equipment to help them with diagnosis, treatment and recovery. Please take a look at their Lifeline Lab and Life in Focus appeals to see how you can help more people like me get back on their feet again.